All right, what's up? Welcome to Monday. We are in week two of this power block, so we're trying to up the intensity a little bit uh, for what we did last week. Today, we have an acceleration day. We're gonna be using the sled, doing some variable distance sprints with variable loads. What we have set up today is two sets of 20 meter sprint, 30 meter sprint, 40 meter sprint. Each of those is gonna be with a sled, but the weight on the sled itself is going to be decreasing as the distance increases. So what we did last week with this was I did a 20 meter sled sprint with 30 kilos. Then I did my 30 meter sled sprint with 20 kilos. And then I did my 40 meter sled sprint with 10 kilos. So the idea for this week is we're gonna do that same format, but bump up the weight 10 kilos on each repetition. So the way today is gonna to work is we've got 20 meter sled sprint with 40 kilos. We're gonna rest two minutes, 30 meter sled sprint with 30 kilos, rest three minutes, and then 40 meter sled sprint with 20 kilos. And then we're gonna rest four minutes and go back through that 20, 30, and 40. So six total repetitions today, and that's gonna be it. I'm gonna start by doing a little bit of warm up. I'm gonna add those three and five step bursts into the warm up since we are doing an acceleration focused day today, and then we're gonna get after it. All right, warm-up's done. So, just showing you guys the burst there. The warm-up itself is generally the same as most of the days, except for I add those bursts in. So, the idea behind the burst is to just work on those first five steps as I'm warming up and try to reinforce mechanics, try to see how things are feeling today so I can kind of judge how the workout's gonna go. I feel really good today. But the idea behind like the first five steps of your acceleration are supposed to be powerful strides. So you don't wanna come out just wheels spinning. You don't wanna try to be moving your feet fast from that acceleration phase. So what you wanna do and what I try to do is I try to push off hard with both feet. I wanna feel that both feet have engaged and pushing through the ground. Obviously, my right foot being further back, it's gonna come off the ground first, and I'm trying to drive that knee forward as hard as I can, and then I wanna think about getting my shoulders out in front of me as I'm trying to project forward for those first few steps. So that positioning, I'm thinking shoulders out in front, knee comes up hard, and then I'm constantly trying to push back and behind me for those first five steps. And it's really important to try to be strong and powerful in your acceleration phase versus just being fast. So that's kind of the purpose of doing those bursts before we do some sled sprints. I'm gonna put my spikes on now, gonna go load up the sled. We got our first 20 meter sprint is gonna be with the 40 kilos. And then, as I said before, we'll knock off 10 kilos as we keep going on through the reps. One thing I'm also gonna add in today is I'm gonna do some depth jumps before I do my sled sprints. So I'm gonna play around with it today, do a couple sets, see how it goes, see how it feels. See if it's too if it's too taxing, then I'll probably won't be doing these before sled sprints. But it's the way you try to figure out things that work for you is by playing around. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna do two sets of depth jumps, and then we're gonna start with the 20 meter sprint. So sled sprints went good today, 20, 30, 40, two sets of that. The 20s were tough with that 40 kilos on the sled, which was to be expected. Um, the 30s and 40s felt really good, so was happy with that overall. So last week I did a few standing triple jumps to just kind of test some things out. I'm gonna do it again today. I uh, don't know if I'm gonna beat last week. My legs are a little bit more fried than they were last week uh, coming off a of deload. So, I got a couple cones set up. I'm gonna do three reps, just test it, see where I was at. I believe 925 or 920 was my furthest from last week. 
So I'm gonna place a cone at 920 and see if I can't beat that today now. Today's training is finished. Started off with some power cleans. I had six sets of two at 145 kilos. Um, kept those pretty quick, pretty snappy. Felt really good throughout each one of those. Followed it up uh, with some front squat. So last week I read my program as front squat. I didn't realize that it was supposed to be front squat to high box, which means a box that puts me slightly above parallel. So this week I readjusted the program and followed the way it was written out. So I had to build to a three rep front squat at eight RPE um, to that high box and then drop down 20% and complete four sets of three. So the eight RPE put me at about 220 on the bar. Felt really good, it was a solid eight. May have been closer to a nine than it was an eight, but it still felt really good. Um, my back off sets today were at 175 kilos. Um, and I decided to add a little extra box jump in between those sets there. Uh, I like doing complexes with box jumps and squats. And because of the loading today, the box, it was just felt like it was a good opportunity to add in some more explosive movements for this power phase. Um, so I threw those in there even though they weren't written on the program. But overall, everything felt great with those. Front squats were moving well. So having that high box just allows you to kind of super maximal load. So go to weights that you wouldn't generally be able to lift when you're going through full ranges of motion. So having that box there that puts you slightly above parallel allows you to really load up the weight there, get a really good stimulus out of that, and then be able to overload that movement, um, which is great for a power face now. Uh, after the front squats, add some dumbbell step ups. Again, kind of like I did last week, I like to stand to the side of the box and kind of stomp on it as I'm stepping up. I just feel like I get a lot more activation when I do that type of movement. Um, I had a little bit higher of a box than I did last week, so I also had my lifters on. Usually I'll do those barefoot, 
but because the box was a little bit higher, I kept my lifters on to keep me slightly elevated as well. And then that was it for the PM session. Everything felt really good. This is week two of this block. Um, starting off strong. I love Mondays because I get to go back in the gym and start training again. Uh, Sundays for me are probably the worst day of the week because I just get extremely bored. I don't do anything. It's just a rest and recovery day. But I also get really antsy to get back in the gym on Monday. So I really like going into the gym and training again on Mondays. Um, other than that, tomorrow we've got two sessions again. We've got a max velocity day in the morning and then we've got some upper body work in the afternoon. Make sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys for the support. Make sure to comment down below if you're following along with the programming or if you have any questions and we'll see you tomorrow.